please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. When you do, don't forget to click on all. Because if you don't, you might not get notified of all of the videos. So make sure you click on all. And don't forget in the comp in the description area, please consider contributing to this particular ministry, either through Patreon or else through the PayPal. Both links are in the description box. I think it is important that Muslims get a lesson in the Trinity in Christianity. They one of the, one of uh, one of Dr. David Wood's viewers wrote in and complained that we Christians believe in one plus one plus one equals three. And, um, yeah, one plus one plus one does equal three in any regular math. He have probably mistyped and probably meant to say one plus one plus one equals one. Now, in mathematical reality, that cannot happen. But, how can this actually happen in our realm of reality? Think about this. How can this be an, an accurate statement of the Trinity? I see that a lot of people are having a hard time figuring it out. What if there was, instead of this first one, that there is a father? And instead of this one, that there is a mother? And in this one, there is a child. Father, mother, and child equals a family. Regardless of whatever the last name is, let's say it's Smith. So, let's, let's take a look at this in another way. Let's say this is a king. This is a queen, and this is a prince. This then becomes the the royal family. And to give a real life example, How about that? As the last name of Queen Elizabeth. King, Queen, Prince, the royal family. Whoops. Royal is spelled wrong. There.
Okay, this makes one, even if there are many princes. Okay, I am going to put the, I am just going to say a, a prince times a X amount, or a princess, and I will make the S as a princess times a X amount. Regardless of how many prince, prince and princesses there are, this is a royal family, a single unit in the public eye. They are always as one. Now, this can be, oh, let's say three uh, of the prince. And this, let's say, is four of the princess. This now makes nine people. Four plus three plus a queen, plus a king, that now makes nine. But in the eyes of the public, they are one royal family. This is how one plus one plus one can equal one. There is no special magic to it. There is no special mathematics you have to do. There is nothing special you have to take into consideration. When it comes to the family unit, this is true when it comes to the royal family we can even add whoops plus chief and i will go and just say chief servant Why am I adding the chief the chief servant here is and and well this might be even pluralized servants and here is why and you find this in a monarch country very frequently that the king tells a servant to go and do this and the servant goes out because he has the authority by the king to go and do this the servant gets it done and it is sometimes by a letter of a decree with a special seal on it from a ring, usually. But the chief servant or servants, when they are sent out on an official errand from the king or the queen or even the prince, they have the authority as if they were one of them because they have that letter 
with the seal, saying, You will do this by the order of the king. Now, let's change this up some. Let's say We have Elah, which is the father in Hebrew. That is his name, Elah. Plus Yeshua, or or or, or so other words known as Yahweh, Yod Hey Vod Hey, plus the Holy Spirit, which is the servant. This becomes the royal family. This is the Father, whoops, the Father, it wants to take everything, but I don't want it to take everything, plus the Son, plus the Holy Spirit is the royal family. This is one, one family. We Christians do not have a problem with this. Jesus said in one verse that the Father is greater than I, so they must be two separate people. Jesus have also said that the Father and I are one. How? Because they are of the family of El. El Ah Elohim El Shaddai Many words that describes Yahweh begins with E-L. And we can view this as the last name of the family of God. Keep in mind also, and I have said this many times now, and I will continue to say it, that God is, or that of the term God is a title and not a name. Going back to what I just got through typing, L.A. is the name of the Father. Yeshua is the name of the Son in Hebrew. Now we can go to Greek and... It is in, and it is Theos, and and also that of uh, Jesus. Gee, I wonder how we got the term Jesus. Okay. And then the Holy Spirit equals the royal family, the most high royal family. This is not just my opinion. For in a parable did Jesus explain This, in Matthew 21, verse 33 forward. Here another parable. There was a certain householder who, 
which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about and digged a wine press in it and built a tower and let, lent it out to the husbandmen and went into a far country. <clears throat> and when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen that they might receive the fruits of it. Servants. What did I just say? A servant with a, with a letter sealed by the ring of the king has got authority because he was sent by the king. And the husbandman took his servants and beat one and killed one and stoned yet another. Again he sent out other servants, more than the first, and they did unto them likewise, which means that they did this again. But last of all he sent unto them his son, the one with the highest authority besides the king, saying, They will reverence my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. They caught him and cast him out of the vineyard and slew him. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? Okay, here we see a type of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is about a family. The Father, the Son, and the servants. Servants being plural. Okay. So here is a earthly type of what is in heaven. Now, some people may have a problem with where did I get the term L-A from earlier. Well, if we go to Daniel, I think it's chapter 3, and I believe it's verse 25. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men, yeah, so then this is the verse, loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Now see, one thing I don't like about almost all of the Bibles, I haven't seen all of them, so I can't say all of them, of the translation that they use the title God way too much. It is sometimes hard to tell what is going on if you don't have a real understanding of Scripture. And in this case, the term God... refers to, and let me show you so that you can see it, God, H426, is the number. Ella, Ella. Okay. That is how that of the English... Okay, so I was a little off, but Ella... 
that is how it is phonetically spelled in English. Okay, this is the father. Okay. All right. So, again, L-A. is the father. This is where I get the name Allah. So, I was a little off on the actual spelling. So, if I were to do it right, E-L-A-W would be the father in Hebrew. And this would be Yeshua. Now, some of these Christians might want to claim Yehoshua. And no, that is not Jesus. That is Joshua. So, for the, those that think it is actually Yehoshua, I'm sorry, but you are wrong. You have been taught wrong. If you think I'm wrong, ask a Hebrew professor. I have taken two Hebrew classes on this. And it is Yeshua. Yes, that was my requirement when I got my Master's in Divinity. I had to take two classes. Now, where do I get the idea that Theos is the name of the Father in Greek? Well, we can go to John 1.1 1, 1, for the name of the Father. We have to go somewhere else for the name of Jesus in Greek because in John 1.1 1, 1, <coughs> he is called the Word or in Greek it is known as Logos. So, John one, one, and yes, I also had to take two terms of Greek as well. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, Theos. You see it right there. Was with God, Theos, and the Word was with God. Now, John three sixteen. Nope. Well, I might be able. Here we are. Jesus. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Jesus. Is the name of Jesus in Greek. Okay. So this is how 1 plus 1 plus 1 can equal 1. Muslims think of it in a mathematical sense. We're at 1. Okay, come on. We're at 1 plus 1 plus 1 cannot equal 1 in the mathematical sense. For in the mathematical sense, it equals 3. But when we look at it as a family unit, the family unit is considered as 1. This is how 1 plus 1 plus 1 can equal 1. For you, 
for that of the Christians. Take a screenshot of this. This is a brief explanation of what I just got through spending the last 24 minutes explaining. Take a screenshot because this is how one plus one plus one can equal one. All of us Christians are adopted children of God. We unite as one. Muslims are supposed to be united as one, but there's 1.6 billion. So how can 1.6 billion equal 1? Answer that, Mr. and Miss Muslim. For if you are supposed to be united as 1, how can 1.6 billion equal 1? <coughs> I find that even harder to actually believe, but it is possible. There is an approximately 1.6 to 1.8 billion Christians, or ones who claim they are Christian, and we are supposed to be united as one. But we are divided. The Roman Catholic Church of about 800 million and that of the uh, and that of the uh, and the uh, it is of, of, of lesser Protestant churches between 800 million and 1 billion members in the Protestant churches but even then, they are grouped into the Baptist, the Church of Christ, the uh, United Methodist Church, the Life Church, and all other denominations. And yet, within each of these denominations, we are united as one, regardless of how many people there are, just like in Islam. While there is 1.6 billion Muslims, there is at least three different groups of Muslims. The, that of the Sunni, the Shia, and... Well, at least one other. So, although that there's 1.6 billion, let's say that there is, oh, 600 million Sunni, 600 million Shia, and the other 400, 400 million is the other groups. Okay, so don't think that, that that there is a true unification in Islam because it isn't. Because there is at least three different groups. Sunni, Shia, and at least one more. So you have a division problem. This is how we can be as one, although there are many, because we unite. In that of Genesis 1, verse 1, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Well, the term God 
In that place, it is Elohim. El being the family name, and Ohim being triune. Tri is three, yun it is unity. Three united as one. In the very first chapter, in the very first verse, it says Elohim, and in the Old Testament, that is the Trinity. Thank you for coming all the way to the end of the video. We hope that you have learned. But now comes the call. The call to come to Jesus if you are not baptized. God's part was that he sent his only begotten son, John 3.16. Notice, his only begotten son. There is other items where other people has been, been called a first son, but keep it in context, that is not the begotten son. Jesus is his only begotten son. Jesus shed his blood for our sins. that the Spirit revealed God's Word and His will. That is all God's part of our salvation. We need to hear God's Word. Romans 10 John 6.44 We need to believe what we hear. Again, John 8.24 Repent of our sins. We are a sinner. Confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God that he died and rose for our sins, for our iniquity. Romans 10, Acts 8. And then we are to be baptized. We are to be fully submerged. That of the Greek word, it is known as baptismo. Fully submerged is what that means. Okay, Mark 16 and first, of, and also in first of Peter. And these are just a couple of the verses for each one. There are a plethora of others to confirm these steps over and over and over. And then remain faithful. I will be talking about that in that of the video 49, which is talking about are we saved by faith or by works? And in video 50, which is talking about the other things that God has called us to do. Yes, do is a verb. It is an action. So, video 49, which is done, but it will not be released. See, whoops, are we saved by works? Part 1. I have got that one done, and it will be released on August 6th. 
this one that you are watching right now, it is video 48, which will be released August 5th. And then video 50 will be talking about the other things that we are called to do. Now, like I said in video 49, we do them after we are saved. Not to be saved. We do these things because we are saved. So, if you are not yet a Christian, I do strongly encourage you to be baptized. If you cannot be for some reason, whether if you are in a Islamic country or there is a drought going on, or for some other reason, pray to God that he accepts your heart. Our God is a merciful God. If he knows that there are reasons why you cannot be baptized. I have faith, although I don't have any proof of it, but I have faith that he will accept your heartfelt prayer as a temporary substitute. After all, in the Old Testament, they had to sacrifice animals as a temporary substitute until Christ came. Did you get that? Although I am not saying that you should then sacrifice a uh, animal, but there was a temporary item that was given to them to ask for forgiveness until Jesus came. So, let us know down in the comment section if you have decided to give your heart to God and give your whole being to God. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, and have a blessed day. There is one more message coming up at the end. So, when are you Muslims going to get it? There is a problem, no, not a, there are several problems, potentially counting into the hundreds of problems about Islam. And I don't know if I will have the time to cover them all. Instead, why don't you come to the one that says in John fourteen six, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. These are Jesus' words. You can't get to the Father by any other means. Not by me, not by Hatun, not by David Wood, not by Dr. Al Fadi, not by Joel Osteen, not by 
anybody else that you can think of, not even through your Imam or Muhammad. The only way to heaven is by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who died and paid the penalty for our sins. Mark 11:28 says, Come unto me, all, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, at which weary and labor means the same thing, and I will give you rest. Jesus wants to give you rest and peace, peace knowing, knowing that you are going to go to heaven. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Did you catch that? Believe in Jesus. Become baptized and but and put your total faith in Jesus. Quran says, 354 and 830, that Allah is the best of deceivers. If he's the best of deceivers, how do you know he is not deceiving you? Think about that. If Allah is the best of deceivers, as 354 and 830 tells us that he is, because Allah admits to it. How can you be assured he is not lying to you? In 46 verse 9 of the Quran, Muhammad says that he does not know of his salvation and therefore cannot guarantee anybody else's. Wait a minute. Think about this Mr. and Miss Muslim. Muhammad was the best example of a Muslim, and yet he does not know of his salvation. Jesus, the only begotten Son of the Father. Have came to earth willingly just so he can pay for the penalty of sin. Are you ready to be a Christian? Jesus is waiting, but there isn't much time left. The end is drawing near. And you don't want to be left behind. When you are ready, I know of many Christians that would love to help you be saved, and I am one of them. We are not here to hate you. If we were, if we did hate you, we wouldn't be doing what we are doing. We would just let you be and keep the gospel to ourselves. Instead, Jesus said, There are many mansions, and I go to prepare a place. We all can live in heaven. We just 
need to accept. We just need to accept his invitation. Contact me when you are ready to give up Islam. Thank you and have a great day. And don't forget in the in the description area, please consider contributing to this particular ministry, either through Patreon or else through the PayPal. Both links are in the description box.